So is there a wrong or a right way to buy silver? Let's get into it guys. Hello everyone and welcome back. Great to have you back on the channel again guys. Two in one week, holy hell, what is happening? Yep, I'm gonna start making regular videos again guys, so be on the lookout. Make sure you hit that bell so you know exactly when I do drop videos. Now, in this video, is there a wrong way or a right way to buy silver? Absolutely not. There is no best way to stack, okay? There is no wrong way to stack. The only thing that matters is if whether or not you are stacking. Now, I did go to my LCS, and this is the reason for this video is because I picked up stuff that I would never buy ever. And uh, I just, it's just not really uh, something that I would do. And it's, <clears throat> it's, excuse me, it's, it's number one, it's a gift. So it's not for my stack. Okay. So number two is, extremely expensive compared to just a regular bullion coin which is mostly what i like to buy now i did pick up from the stacking storm well when he was stacking stormtrooper i did pick up the um the queen Anne's revenge i did not have one of these so i went ahead and i traded him for this, this is going for well over a hundred dollars now. So I needed this to uh, complete my collection. So now that I have it, I'm, I'm good. So appreciate that Stormy once again. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate uh, your cooperation and your willingness to do that with me. So I appreciate it. So what did I get from my LCS? And the premise of this video is it is a gift and I have to be extremely careful here. It is a 2021 american silver eagle and it is the proof and uh it is god these are these are beautiful man it, they, they really are but it's just it's not something like i said that i would normally buy because i don't do that anymore i'm i'm not a a collector per se any longer but i will buy collector things here and there and while i was in there i know i needed to grab a couple uh Grab a couple 2021 regular silver eagles. And because I don't have any yet and I need to get my tube going before time runs out. So here's one. Looking good. Looking good. And here is the second one. So type one last year of this design. Going to miss it gonna miss it really am uh don't worry i got plenty more just like it all right so wrong way right way to stack silver there's tons of videos out there about the subject you can go two ways you know wh whichever makes you make sense to you right as long as you're, you're you're putting something away that is the main objective that's the main goal is to is to put something in your in your coffers right to, to put something away whether it's britannia's right whether it's it's your uh whether it is your maples right it doesn't matter really it does not matter you there is no wrong or right way lots of people say well i only stack for weight and i only care about weight i don't care about anything else and that's cool. That's fine. I understand that. I, I I was there myself. I stacked a bunch of junk silver when it was dirt cheap, whenever you can get it for eight, nine, ten and a half times face. And it just made a lot of sense at that time to, to just buy as much junk silver as you could because it was so cheap compared to everything else. But now that silver starting to escalate in price and it's just continuing this this nice little climb. You have to ask yourself, you know, what what should you stack? What, you know, and that's where these videos are coming from. That's, you know, people trying to generate, you know, income off of YouTube to make videos. Right. And I, I get it. I understand it. Uh, but you have to remember, guys, whenever you and this is for the for the guys making videos, you are content creators. So you, what you say has value. What you say has standing. 
So keep that in mind whenever you're making these videos. You don't want people going out and making the wrong purchases based off of just what you like or what you prefer. So I try to show you guys a little bit of something of everything because I buy things that I like that I know I'm going to keep that I know I'm not going to sell. Now, when silver skyrocketed in price, I held on to all of this stuff. I held on to it because I value it because I like it and it's my security blanket. That's why I stack it. That's why I stack the way that I stack because it just makes more sense. Now, everything that I owned is extremely liquid and I would have absolutely no problems getting rid of any of it. Not one bit because it is liquid and it's, it's highly sought after. So that's one way you can look at it. Now, if you are just stacking for weight and you just want to get as much bullion as you can, then <laughs> by all means, stack what you like, guys. Stack what you like. Don't get you know too caught up in, in the um, in, in the videos out there because because there's all they're, they're everywhere. Right. So buy what you like, stack what you like and you'll keep it. And that's the whole point is to have this in case something bad happens. Right. Or to hedge against inflation or to hedge for your gold. Right. To have that security blanket so you don't sell. That's what silver is to me. OK, it's not get rich. OK, it's that's not what it's about. It's about hedging and it's about safety. That's what it is for me. It's real money and it's held right now in my position outside of the banking industry so that they can't profit off of me. And it's also tax free in my home state. And I don't know how long that's going to take place. So therefore, I'm stacking as much as I can while I can without that extra cost that some people actually have to pay, which is theft, by the way. So if you are in a tax free state like I am, or if you have tax incentives to buy certain things, you might want to stack that way. OK, that might be the way that you need to stack. Or if you live close to a a tax free state and you live in a tax state, right? Drive on over there once you save up enough cash and make you a big purchase over in that state. That that is something that a lot of people, they don't they don't think about whenever they're getting into this stuff is. What's it going to cost? What, you, what can you do to get as much of it as you can for the right price? And just because you see guys like me boasting silver eagles or maples or whatever, you know, pretty much what we're doing is making videos and we're trying to get the word out and we're trying to get you guys to understand the power and the value that silver and gold, for that matter, hold. And it's power that you hold in your hands, in your possession. And that is what is important. Not what kind to stack, not how much to stack of it. Everybody's totally different. We all have different incomes. We all have different ways of life. So whenever you are getting into this stuff, guys, make sure you do it with an open mind, right? Do some research. Don't just, you know, go off of what a millennial is saying right now, okay? Get in there and research it. Find out for yourself if this is the best fit for you or if gold or platinum or so on and so forth. You don't have to go by what what we say here on YouTube. Buy what you like. Stack what you like and you'll keep it. And that is the main objective. That's what silver stacking is about. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Keep grinding on that stack.